What's up you guys, Paddles here. I am at the Kings River in Sequoia National Forest and it is gorgeous. So let's take a walk up to my vehicle and I will show you how I converted my Honda CRV into a full-time camper. Let's go. Here she is. So I'll just kind of walk you through what I've done here. Uh, first of all, we got the back door. It's really nice that it swings open to the side because then you can actually use it you know you can hang things off of it like i've done here um it's just nice for accessibility i'm really liking it so let's start with these uh window coverings these are from a company called heat shield and i ordered them specifically for this model uh, you can do that with pretty much almost anything so if you have something and you don't want to cut out your own reflectix uh or you know you don't want to make your own window coverings heat shield is a great uh, option. I think it's just heatshield.com. The other plus is that when you order the gold, because it does come in the standard silver as well, the silver has a white back, the gold has a black back. So you can't really see it. It's really wonderful. It's on there as well. Took it off here. I'll get into that though. And it's also on the front. The front, you can see it without any tint, whereas the back it kind of disappears a little bit more. You can kind of see it a little bit there, but it's nothing too crazy. Uh, and then the front of the vehicle, I've just got uh, one of those typical sunshades. And it is silver, but it happens to have the black back. So if you're going incognito or stealth mode, um, that's handy, you know? So let's go back to the rear of the vehicle here, and I'll just continue on. So we've got those heat shields going there. Now the other bonus uh, with these heat shields is they stick on via these little suction cups. And if you get real close, you can kind of see them uh, there. And again, when you're standing even a couple feet away, you don't really see those uh, very well. So stealthy again. Um, but the cool thing about these is they have these little hooks. Now they come with suction cups. I should uh, mention this. They come with suction cups from the company that are like gray and you can actually see them a bit more on the other side of the window and they have this like white loop thing here you could still potentially hang things off that white loop because uh, it is open on one end but i mean i got really strangely lucky and i found these clear suction cups with these little hooks so they're just suction cup hooks at the dollar store. And they happen to fit the holes and everything. And they even go together the same way. Like this just slides up, you know, like that. And that's how you get it in there. Um, but it just, it was amazing and an incredible find. Anyway, dollar store, heat shield. If you happen to get lucky like I did, maybe you can put this thing together for yourself. Otherwise, the standard suction cups that heat shield comes with are good. Uh, they're just different. But as you can see, I'm just hanging stuff off of these. So let's get to the back of the vehicle. As you can see, I've uh, built a shelf. I just measured, basically what I did was I started with my drawers. So I found these drawers on Amazon and I can link those in the description. Um, now they just happen to be, I was looking at them there. I think they're 17 quart drawers and they come in packs of four. So I bought two packs. And I'll show you where I'm using the other two because there's six here. Um, and I figured, man, those would be nice. You know, they, that would help me with storage. And what if I build around them so that I know everything's going to fit? I did the same with the Rubbermaid uh, bins down there. Those are 14-gallon Rubbermaid bins. And I have four of them under the bed. So that I didn't build a bed platform, but I have a bed platform. It's the bins themselves which makes storage uh, really great. So, and it's also easy to get to. You can see back here, I've got my ax, a saw. Uh, this right here is a little uh, wood stove. That thing is awesome. Amazon, I think it's Red Camp is the brand. And that's the large size. Uh, and if you're, you know, if you're car VING or SUV RVing or whatever, or even if you're just RVing, whatever you're doing, van life. Um, I recommend the large size because it makes a great little fire pit as well as a cooking surface. So, fantastic there. Um, yeah, as you can see, I can get into these 
drawers really easily, or these bins, I should say. Uh, this just kind of pops up. I just pull this out. It's kind of tricky to do it one-handed, but let's see what I can do here. Whoa. Oh, shit. Okay, so, got that out. Just slides right out. This is just, uh, I keep all my gear back here. This is miscellaneous gear. So I've got uh, an extra sheet, a flannel sheet for the bed. It's kind of like a mummy uh, bag sheet thing, like a liner. Um, some fun stuff. These are DCF bags for hiking. Uh, I do a lot of hiking, a lot of backpacking. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, you know that. Um, fishing stuff. Underneath I've got, you know, more fuel, uh, first aid, there's a little raft down there. That's a Supai Adventure Gear flat water raft. That thing is awesome, it weighs 1.5 pounds and you can take it backpacking with you. So that just slides back in there like that, as you can see. And uh, yeah, let's um, move on to the shelf now. So this shelf is, I believe, 15 inches wide is what I cut it. I cut it uh, to fit the angles of the vehicle. I just kind of got in there and, you know, did some guesswork and then refined it as I went. Um, so I've got a four gallon uh, water jug from Reliance, uh, you know, the typical blue thing, but the four gallon versus the five gallon has a different shape to it. And lo and behold, it fit my vehicle like perfectly. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of those finds where you're just kind of shocked that this thing actually exists because it fits so well. Um, as you can see, things stick out a bit, you know? And you might think, well, isn't that gonna hit the window? But the window is recessed on, this, on these Honda CRVs. This is a 2004 Honda CRV, by the way. Um, and so you actually have a lot more room. Like even this pan sticking out like that is totally fine. It doesn't hit the window at all. It, there's still like a few inches of clearance. So yeah, let's get back to the shelf. Water jug, four gallon, uh, fantastic. I did have to put a bit of, uh, you can see there the white stuff. That's uh, silicone tape. And that's just to help it from, you know, uh, dripping. Because even brand new, even with, it has a rubber seal in there, these things can drip on you and you don't want that. But I just put some silicone tape, took care of it immediately. Uh, right here I've got the Jackery uh, 240. I can do a separate review on that if you want, you know, let me know in the comments if, if you want that. But there's plenty of other reviews on there on YouTube, so just go ahead and check that out. I love this thing. It charges my phone like 30 times, charge a laptop like three or four times. Um, I can run these little lights I've got going in there. Those things draw one watt, so I can run those for 240 hours on one charge off this thing. Um, my fan, I'll show you, I've got in there. On the low setting, it, draws one watt again 240 hours potentially maybe you know safer for the battery around uh, 200 but that's ridiculous so uh, these things are amazing I, I use this all the time and I rarely have to recharge it and when I do I have the solar panel and everything I can show you that too uh, so moving on over we've got my cooking stuff uh, and cleaning so I've got the Sea to Summit uh, Alpha pan that's the 10 inch and the Sea to Summit Alpha Pot, I think that's the yeah, 1.9 liter. Um, this is big enough to cook spaghetti in, anything, anything you want. Big, whole bunch of chili. I mean, I'm, I'm doing this solo, so that's more than enough for me. And the pan is, a, is like a big pan, 10, 10 inches is a regular size pan. Inside for plates, I just bought these little uh, pie tins. And they are perfect little plates. Uh, lightweight and they're nice and deep, so. They're great for beans and stuff. And under this here, we've got a little cutting board. And then we've got some Dr. Bronner soap. Um, just got the scentless, unscented. Uh, back here, I've just got a little uh, Talenti jar. And if you're a through hiker, you know what these are for, but I'm using it just to keep my wet sponge in, or damp sponge. And uh, Found these two bad boys off of Amazon as well. <laughs> so many things off of Amazon. Um, they just seal really well. Oh, I needed something that would keep the scent uh, at bay. 
uh, because I've got some spices and whatnot and you know oils and soy sauce and hot sauce and some ghee some clarified butter in there uh, and whatever else you want to put in you know your vehicle that you don't want any scent coming from because if you're like me uh, you come out to these places in national forests and and uh, other places like this BLM land and you know there are critters around here so you want to be careful with that um, Amazon these are nine inches high by seven seven by seven by nine uh, they're great I can link those two in the bottom if, if you like uh, over here I just got a little uh, jar with uh, utensils spatula you know can opener utensils here's some uh, sauce packets uh, all shelf stable stuff all the stuff that you get from restaurants like you know ketchup and even the mayonnaise uh, it's all shelf stable for like a few months at least now here we've got some just all-purpose cleaner uh, anti-back this is a windscreen for my stove should I need it and here I've got some uh, lighter fluid just to, you know if I'm feeling lazy just to help with the uh, little fires so I did make these little um, compartments on the shelf uh, via just some giant bolts. I thought, you know, I want to save weight and I also want it to be, uh, you know, interchangeable should I need to. So I just went and I, uh, I measured the inside, of course. I had to measure like this thing coming down. Um, so the back one's a little bit lower. And then I just went to uh, Home Depot or Anawalt or any, any uh, hardware store and found these really long bolts, uh, drilled the corresponding uh, diameter hole where I wanted them, marked the board of course first, and then just uh, put these bolts in. And that's it, just kind of locked them down with a nut on each side. So then I tied around the bolts with some twine, just bought some cheap twine and made a section here. I knew I was gonna have all my cooking things here and whatnot. Uh, so I wanted that to uh, be holding things together nicely. Uh, I've got a little section over here and a little section over here. And then I did opt to keep the second, the left-hand side of the shelf open so that I could get my water in and out or my jackery in and out. And now that just comes off of here or the other side. And um, easy peasy, just like that. And I can pull this out to refill it, pull the jackery out if I want to use it outside or whatnot. And there's also two uh, bungee cords on the front end, so I can do the same there. I could also turn the water jug around uh, so that I have water on the inside if I wanted to. And that's that. Let's move to the inside. First things first, I guess we'll start with the bed. Uh, it is 72 inches long by 26 inches wide. I wanted it plenty wide and 26 inches is uh, wide enough. I sleep so well on this thing. Uh, so 72 long ways by 26 wide for the main part of the bed. I did cut a little bit off there as you can see just for easier accessibility if I'm grabbing at things as I'm driving back here or you know even if I'm just uh, sitting here I can kick my legs up where those books are and relax. Um, now it does taper at the rear end here. Let's turn this light on. That might help us a bit. Not really. Uh, it does taper at the rear end. You can see down here. I, it cuts into 20 inches at between this uh, drawer here and the leg of the shelf over there. And that's that leg is as close as I can get it to the uh, edge of the car. There is a little bit of a divot behind it, but that's useful for storing stuff. I've got a jacket in there right now. There's also my jack and um, whatnot for changing my tire. That's all hidden in a little compartment behind that leg. So, um, But there are these wheel wells right here that come out for the rear wheels. And there's another one right here, as you can see. So the uh, shelf legs basically come down. They, they come up flush to the wheel well. And then the shelves them, uh, the drawers you can see uh, fit snugly in there. So the drawers, let's get back to those. Uh, like I said, there's six here. And as you can see, one of them is turned 
facing the outside. Um, that's because I have this uh, cut here, as you can see. Now, the drawer won't open because it would hit this here. That's fine for me though. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. I kind of designed it that way. So I've got one full thing of food in here, another full thing of food out there. Uh, I do most of my cooking outside anyway, so I, I might even just turn this one around because I find that I'm uh, having to, you know, move things around sometimes just to get at food. Uh, down here I've got kind of an empty drawer. Right now I'm just using it for uh, Ziplocs and stuff and some Pop-Tarts. <laughs> um, down here I keep my all my underwear and socks. Uh, like I said, food in the middle too. And up top I've got shorts and got a buff in there, got a towel in there as well, the orange thing. Uh, so those are shorts. And in this one up here is all t-shirts. And looks like I got a scarf in there. But it's mostly t-shirts and uh, some long sleeve tees and stuff like that as well. Excuse me. Uh, right there we can see my little fan. I love this thing. It's, uh, guess what, Amazon, uh, Key Nice. And it's got two settings on this thing, uh, right there, high and low. And the low is what I use when I'm sleeping, and it's really quiet, and it draws one watt. So it barely touches my battery running that thing all night just to keep some ventilation in the vehicle. And I, I love it. It's perfect. Uh, here's the inside view of that shelf. Uh, and you're probably wondering, oh, are his feet just under that shelf? all night as he sleeps? And the answer is yes, absolutely. Um, I measured this all again before I did any cutting, uh, before I even bought anything. I measured these, the height of three of these drawers, and then I built my shelf, right? I But before I did that even, I measured the height of the bins. Uh, like I told you, the Rubbermaid bins, these are the uh, 14 gallon, I measured the height of those. And then I measured a three quarter, I added three quarter inches to that because that's the width of this board. And then I added four inches to that because that's what this is here. This is four inch foam. So all told, I knew I still needed clearance for my feet from uh, heel to toe because I don't want to be cramped in there if I'm just laying back watching a movie or something. And it's perfect. So it's all worked out. My feet do go under uh, the, the shelf there when I'm sleeping <laughs> and uh, yeah it's a little more narrow at the foot but I have had no problems with that it doesn't bother me at all honest to goodness uh, most of the time I'm kind of like semi curled anyway so my feet aren't even in there that's only if I'm fully stretched out because this thing is 72 inches long but then I've also got a couple inches here when the seats all the way forward so I would say it's it's even longer almost 80 inches this bed over here on the shelf, I've got my toiletries and whatnot. Uh, just sitting in a little bin, uh, you know, toothpaste, deodorant, all the, all the things, all the things. Uh, here's the inside, you can see these uh, sh shades, the heat shields. Again, with the hooks, really handy to hang things off of. Um, and now you can kind of see my lights a little bit better. These are just uh, fairy lights, I guess, uh, LED lights. You can get on Amazon and uh, I feel like I'm doing a commercial for Amazon. And yeah, they're great. I think it was 33 feet and it's a bunch of different colors. You can change them all up. It's, it's crazy. Um, and, and you can dim them as well. So those are, those are great. They, uh, they give me some lighting and I don't need to run the car or have the battery going uh, for lights in here. Uh, so yeah, I got a little sunroof there that's you know this is a 2004 honda crv the ex so it's got the power all that all that jazz um yeah that's nice when i'm laying down i can actually just at night look up and uh, see the stars or lay there in the morning and let the sun come in and blind me which is something i love anyway Moving on, uh, in the, actually let's stay right here. So 
here I put this thing. Guess what? Guess where I bought this? Amazon. Um, just a back seat, uh, back of seat organizer. There's plenty of these on the market, but the reason I really like this one is because it has a shelf. And this thing is amazing. I mean, I can, I can eat in here. I haven't done that yet. Um, you could put a tablet. The reason I really got it though is you can put a tablet or a laptop here. And it's sturdy enough. You know, you can cinch this up too uh, to put it at different levels. If you got something heavier, you can cinch it up and it'll just kind of come down right where you want it. Um, but it's plenty strong. And uh, yeah, you could kick back and watch a movie if you don't want to be laying down all the time in your vehicle. Which is why I kept this seat in my little rig here um now i got lucky because the passenger side rear seats on these 2004 or i think it's 2002 to 2006 model uh crv the, pa the passenger side has the wide section so it includes the middle seat as well so it, i knew i was going to take that out for the bed uh and having done so i realized oh man that seat that's left is so little i was going to take it out and you know have some floor space but mostly I'd just be using it for sitting anyway um, and moving around but I realized if I kept it I could have like a lounge area you know so I've got a bed and I've got a lounge area with a little table the table doubles as a nightstand when I'm sleeping it's kind of got everything uh, but the other thing about the seat is you're like well it's just in there though how do you get around it and of course, this is a little SUV, so it, it easily just folds up. Uh, you just take this um, paper towel holder there and just rig that up. Uh, and then, of course, you just reach back here if you need the floor space. And this just comes straight up. My little thingy's in the way there. I'd have to take the headrest on. But this comes right up, right out of the way. And then I've got a bunch of floor space here. Uh, plenty of it. And I can do anything in there. I mean, if I'm stuck and I'm in an urban area and I can't find a bathroom, I could potentially, you know, pop out my little toilet thingy and um, go to the bathroom in there if I had to, you know? So, yeah, that's great. So coming around to the passenger rear door, uh, you have access to the bed and... Uh, some space between the bins and uh, the wall of the car here and that's where I put some longer items like I've got my little Tenkara rod in there I've got my uh, hiking umbrella I've got my other trekking poles in there uh, I think another fishing rod in there and uh, yeah it's just a good little space for storage that you know is uh, a happy accident more or less so I'll show you where I put a majority of my clothing and gear which is in these bins underneath. So we just move the pillows. Again, another little piece of foam. That's um, uh, that's just something I added like last minute. I wanted it under my pillows as a little support and it happens to just fill that gap nicely. Anyway, uh, the foam mattress can just kind of tuck up here, right? As such. And here's the, uh, the board for the bed. Now I did cut, uh, I put some hinges on, I cut this about 23 inches from the head I think it was. Put these hinges on because I wanted to have access to uh, my most important bins under there. So this just comes straight up, boom, rests against there like that. And here we've got the uh, Rubbermaid bin. I put some little just cardboard dividers in there to make it easier on myself. I got shoes and boots and whatnot, some sandals in there. Uh, this is all long sleeve shirts. Uh, and you know, um, yeah, long sleeve shirts. <laughs> uh, pants here. And back here, I've got just the uh, divider going this way. So just two sections. This is all, uh, I think, hats and uh, beanies and stuff, toques, and here I've got mostly jackets for any occasion, and, and a few uh, sweaters as well. Yeah, there's some uh, sweatshirts and warmer sweaters in there. 
And that's all my clothes, guys. Now, you, there is one more bin, uh, the third bin, or the fourth bin, rather, because one, two, and then one at the back. There's the third bin here. Uh, that's That bin has, like, the least amount of instant accessibility, but uh, I put all my backpacking gear in there, so I only need that when I'm planning for a trip. So that's why I did it that way. And this uh, this guy just easily goes right over again. And that's that. And then the foam just comes out. And there we go. And again, the foam is all cut to shape to fit the uh, you know, the uh, the panel, the bed panel. So cut the bed panel first to accommodate the dimensions of the vehicle and then cut the foam to accommodate the panel. All right, guys, moving on. So here we are at the head end of the bed uh, again. And this is the bin I just showed you with uh, shirts and pants and whatnot and shoes. Now underneath that, because I do have this wheel well here, which dips down, uh, I've got the other drawers. Yeah, so basically I've just got some uh, miscellaneous gear in, in this one here. Uh, it's accessible, I can just pull this out. Um, you know, tape and whatnot, a uh, bunch of little things in there. Uh, this is a, a pee bottle for, you know, the middle of the night. Um, if I don't wanna get out of the vehicle or even if I'm driving and I just can't stop or won't stop or <laughs> Don't want to stop. These are, uh, you guessed it, Amazon. They are window screen covers, I believe, is what you could search to find them. Uh, again, I can link these things if you comment and tell me you want that. Um, they just kind of slip over the window like a sock. So they're on both sides of the window, and they are screens, and right now the window's open. And so they allow for ventilation and uh, bug proofing. Now, I've watched so many fan life videos and, you know, they're all making their own screens with magnets and things. And I don't know, maybe that was before these things came out. But um, <laughs> these are an amazing alternative and so easy. You just pull them right off and they bunch up into a little ball. I just shove them down there wherever when I'm not using them. So love those. Let's move to the front. Uh, right now, I am in camp mode, so the front seats are being used for storage mostly. This is just a down bag. You can see I've got some storage down there underneath this console thing. Uh, bear spray, uh, mostly electronics, some more lights and whatnot in there. Um, cigarette lighter adapter comes over here. I've got two more adapters and two... Uh, USB. This big boy right there, that is my backpacking uh, quilt. I don't like to store those things compressed, so I've just opted to put it in a big bag, and I never use that front seat area anyway, whether I'm traveling or camping, so it basically just lives in that front seat. It could also move behind this seat uh, at any point when I'm camping, and I could swap and put the uh, cooler. I've got a little Yeti cooler here. When I'm traveling, the Yeti cooler goes behind this seat. It fits perfectly behind the seat, uh, between the seat and the drawers. But I and sometimes, you know, when I'm sleeping and whatnot, obviously I put it back in there. But I could put it in the front seat and have accessibility to the cooler all the time, just through the front passenger door, and put this big quilt thing back. Anyway, guys, here's the uh, passenger side real quick in the front again. Uh, passenger seat is forward, so you can see my pillows there. Uh, this piece of board right here, that just kind of slides in and out. It's just a long piece of board. I think it's about four feet. Um, that actually I use sometimes if I don't want to set up a little table out here. Uh, I'll use that to, uh, I can put it under my uh, bed board and between uh, the, the bins, and it'll slide out here as a little surface to cook on or clean fish, or do whatever, whatever you want to do. Down here in the footwell, I just keep, uh, you know, my stove. It's just a little single burner butane stove. 
Uh, this is my solar panel for the Jackery uh, laundry bag and little bear canister if I'm backpacking in an area that requires one. Uh, vitamins and whatnot go there. Yeah, let's move around to the, uh, to the awning. Now this thing is a work in progress, so it's not perfect yet, but uh, I think I've got, got it down now. I know what I need to do with it. So first things first, it is connected via this pipe. Uh, this is just a uh, big old PVC pipe that I bought from uh, Home Depot. And I cut it to length. I knew the length of my tarp. It's a six by eight, so I wanted the narrow end. So six feet across this way. And then I measured the grommets exactly, uh, and I drilled these bolts through. As you can see there, the bolts go all the way through, and there's just little wing nuts. So I, put the, I attached the tarp that way. Uh, and it's nice. I do need to get some stronger zip ties because I've just got it on there with zip ties right now, as you can see. And they're just kind of thin. They're not coming off, but they are allowing the pipe to kind of bend over a bit more. So I want something that's going to keep those bolts at this angle so the tarp will then be right around here. And there's this, of course, water barrier. So if it does rain, I won't have any rain coming in this side of the tarp. Um, That'll also just allow me to pull the tarp a little bit more taut. Right now, uh, it's great, uh, but you know, it is a little low too. I'm just using my Lecky trekking poles there. In case you're wondering, you can actually do that off of just a small SUV like this, and it's still not an extremely low tarp. And I just found this stick, and uh, you know, it's just used to using that as a center pole. So, yeah, I love the the, the awning though. It's it's a great feature to have. And of course, this is just a tarp, a six by eight, heavy duty, and I just fold that up uh, real small, and it, it lives in the front with the, uh, you know, the stove and the solar panel and whatnot, uh, front footwell there. Um, here we've got a little table. Yep, Amazon. Um, this is a just generic brand Kings Camp. You know, there's plenty of these little tables. Um, I got the larger size. I think it's like 22 inches wide, and I like that because I cook on it and whatnot, and I also made sure it was aluminum. So this thing is metal, which means you can cook on this, it cleans easily. Uh, you can even put that little wood-burning fire stove uh, on top of this, and you won't mess it up. So yeah, love this table. Just a little uh, camp chair, a little backpacking chair, though I don't use it for backpacking, too heavy. <laughs> And uh, the Yeti cooler, that's the Rode 20, the older version, uh, which I hear uh, people are saying is better than the new version that just came out. Uh, just holds ice longer and whatnot. Okay, guys, I think that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments section and let me know. I'd be happy to answer any and all. So thanks again, and we will catch you out there. Adios.